Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the Southern Science Conference 2024 to report on an innovative study conducted by researchers from the University of Sao Paulo. The researchers, Raquel Rizal Contra Domingos and Denise Alves Fungaro, are tackling a significant environmental challenge by repurposing industrial waste from the coal industry. Their focus is on two major contributors to industrial waste, the coal industry and the cement industry. Both sectors pose significant environmental challenges that need addressing. The coal industry, in particular, produces large amounts of ash through a process called flue gas desulfurization. This process, while reducing NOx emissions, results in sulfated ash or FGD ash, which is high in sulfur and calcium content. On the other hand, the cement industry is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. For every ton of cement produced, approximately one ton of CO2 is emitted. This accounts for about 7% of global CO2 emissions. The researchers are focusing on calcium silicate hydrated compounds, or CSH, which make up about 75% of Portland cement. These compounds have potential for controlling radionuclide release due to their long-term stability. Of particular interest is a compound called tobermorite, which has a structure similar to CSH and can be synthesized through alkaline hydrothermal treatment. This compound is considered a structural model for cement. The goal here is to align with the principles of the circular economy, proposing a sustainable closed-loop process that reuses waste and reduces environmental impact. The objective of this study is to obtain CSH compounds from sulfated coal ash using alkaline fusion followed by hydrothermal treatment. This approach could produce value-added material for use in cement while minimizing environmental impact. The researchers used FGD ash from a coal power plant in Brazil, along with various laboratory equipment. They employed X-ray fluorescence and X-ray diffraction to characterize the materials. Their method involved a two-step process, alkaline fusion followed by hydrothermal treatment. This approach aims to transform the waste material into valuable compounds. The researchers tested different parameters such as fusion time, water volume, and agitation time to optimize the process. They named their products SPF-1 through SPF-6, evaluating them based on the intensity of the main tobermorite peak. Their results show that the FGD ash contains high levels of silicon and calcium, making it suitable for CSH synthesis. The presence of sulfur from the desulfurization process was also noted. The researchers successfully produced CSH and tobermorite phases in all synthesized products. This confirms the viability of their approach in transforming waste into valuable compounds. They found that the SCF-4 sample showed the highest crystallinity. This sample was produced with a 3-hour melting time, 100 milliliters of water, 2 hours of stirring, and using a rod and blade type propeller agitator. The researchers observed that longer fusion times led to greater formation of tobermorite and CSH compounds. They also noted that using a rod instead of a stirring table resulted in more efficient agitation and purer end products. In conclusion, this study demonstrates that sulfated coal ash can be efficiently used to obtain calcium silicate hydrated compounds. The researchers believe this approach aligns with circular economy principles and contributes to the UN's Sustainable Development Goal 12. The researchers acknowledge the support of Brazil's National Council for Scientific and Technological Development and the Porto do Pisum coal power plant for providing the ash samples. This groundbreaking research shows promise in turning industrial waste into valuable materials, potentially revolutionizing both waste management and the cement industry. Back to you in the studio.